Hello everyone, welcome to Bajaj Exam Prep. So I am here to give you a good news regarding your job notification. So a very important and the huge vacancy has been announced by the government of India and which is the for the post of examiner of the patents and the designs. So we have more than 500 posts in this particular job notification. So this is uh, let's discuss the detail of all this and uh, in this. You can see that uh, in this particular PDF, you will get the exam pattern, you will get the number of vacancies, what are the different branches are eligible, all which uh, these things I am going to discuss here. So let's go into the detail. This is the how to apply and the examination fees. So if I talk about the examination fees guys, so this examination fees is a little bit higher because you are going to become a registered officer. So it is approximately 1000. Okay, so 1000 rupees uh, fees, examination fees and for the other categories like SD, SD, PWD, it is uh, 500. Okay, for general and OBC, it is 1000. So now coming to the details of the date because how much time you are having for preparation of this particular exam, that is also very important. So the online application process will start from the 14th of July and the online process uh, close uh, up to 4th of August. And the uh, preliminary exam will be happening in the 3rd of September. So you will be having approximately uh, July, August, September. So approximately two months you are having, right? So uh, two and a half you can say. And the declaration of the prelims on the 13th of September, then there will be a mains. So yes, this exam is having the two part like a ESD, that is the prelims and the mains. Okay. And uh, the dates, other dates are also mentioned here. So you are having more than uh, like approximately 75 days uh, to clear, clear this exam because this exam is having the different syllabus than the uh, gate examination and ESE. It is much similar in the technical but uh, there are uh, different category like non-technical that also you have to prepare. So this is nothing but a CGPDMT right. This is the controller general of patents design and trademark. So this is the uh, uh, organization who has uh, given this notification okay and for the post of examiner of patents and design so let's go into the detail of the number of posts because it is the most important part for all of you that is uh, for the electronics engineering we have 108 posts that is huge even more than the ISRO and other PSUs and uh, electrical is also having the 29 posts and now coming to the computer science and other branch like uh, here, yes. So if you go in the computer science, you have 63 posts, that is again good. For civil, we have 9 and for mechanical engineering, again, we have 99 posts. So there are a huge number of vacancies, more than 500, I said 553 vacancies overall across these uh, different branches, right? Now coming to the, what is the exam pattern? That is again another part who are eligible, those who are qualified uh, having the BTEC degree in these branches like electronics, electrical, computer science, mechanical, civil and like other branches like uh, physics, chemistry, you should have the master degree like MSc, physics, MSc, chemistry like that. Okay. Now the age limit is 35. So that is again very huge. Uh, age relaxation is 35. So uh, the the students who are already placed somewhere, they can also prepare for this. Uh, 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 next is coming to the pattern. Yes, that is very important because this is having slight different pattern. And uh, so the scheme of examination, uh, they will be conducting the, there are three different parts of the complete recruitment. First, there will be a prelim exam of a screening of the candidates for the main exam. And then there will be a main exam for shortlisting the interview. And after the interview, you will get the final job notification, uh, job, yes. Final job you will get when you clear all the three parts. And now the examination will be uh, only in the online mode and it will consist of only one paper of objective type multiple choice question will comprise of 150 marks. So 150 marks, 150 question, each question will have one mark. And a maximum 150 question each have one mark will be present in this paper and uh, will consist of multiple choice questions to test the general English. So 15 questions from the general English, 30 questions from the verbal and non-verbal. 
verbal and non verbal then the quantitative aptitude and you have general knowledge and current affairs that is the challenging part that is the 30 marks again general science that is again another challenging part that is 30 marks and then uh, ip legislation the, in india and then vipo that is uh, your intellectual property rights etc that will also be they are asking so approximately 15 marks these are also the challenging and new for all the engineers so if i say uh, where you will find this as tough so this is the part where you will feel that this is somewhat tough so it is uh, all about this 75 marks for to clear this prelims this 30 marks general science 30 marks current affairs and 15 marks from this uh, especially in this ip and vipo related treaties this is going to be a challenging even though you can uh, uh, clear this uh, 30 marks in the general science and the uh, current affairs because it can be prepared but it will be a bit difficult for you to prepare but it is not that much it includes only 15 marks and there is another good news that they are going to call approximately 20 times from the number of posts so for an electronics engineer if we have the 100 posts then multiply by 20 that is 2000 students will be going to select for this particular exam so uh, there may be about 20 times of the total approximate number of vacancies to be filled through this recruitment process okay so the number of candidates to be admitted in the mains exam on the basis of the result so in the mains they will call approximately 2000 students so that is the good opportunity for all of you now coming to the paper 2 right uh, paper 1 we have done just let me check once yeah so 2000 candidates and accordingly it, the cutoff will be decided by the prelims right so the mains exam uh, after once you clear the prelims exam the main exam will be conducted in again the two phase uh, paper 1 and paper 2 so paper 1 will be OMR based and paper 2 will be descriptive paper 1 will be having 100 marks and paper 2 will be having 300 marks paper 1 will be 2 hour duration and will comprise of the maximum of 100 objective multiple choice question and it will also carry the same thing which we have already uh, taken that is the general knowledge and the current affairs and general aptitude now elementary mathematics and english and knowledge related to the intellectual property right that is ipr so this is going to be your paper one now what about the paper two which is which carries the 300 marks paper two will be uh, based on the knowledge of the candidates in the technical discipline of the vacancies of paper two like if you are from electronics then electronics knowledge will be tested and you will be having the questions like a ESD means okay so the cumulative marks obtained in the paper one and paper two will be assigned 80 percent weightage in the final list of the qualified students so this is going to be a main important role because the paper one that is the prelims if you clear it is not going to uh, it is just for shortlisting for the mains and they are not going to decide your uh, final selection basis of the prelims exam the final selection will be based on the mains exam and then interview and out of which 80% is only having the weightage in the paper 1, paper 2 of mains exam. That is your second uh, descriptive paper and your paper 1 which is OMR based. So these are all about this and the number of candidates to be eligible for interview may be above 5 times the approximate. Okay, 5 times the approximate number of the vacancies to be filled through this. So that means you can say uh, if there are 100 posts, so out of 2,500 students will be selected for the interview okay and the medium of this exam and interview will be english only and the seniority list as you can see the seniority list uh, what is the, how they are going to check if the two students are having the same marks then what will happen like that now the important instruction you can go into the site of cgpdmt and you will get this pdf and uh, syllabus i am going to tell you about the electronics electrical so let's discuss uh, the syllabus of the electronics where you will find bit challenge because if you prepare for the uh, ESE then there is no problem but if you are not prepared for the ESE suppose then there is a challenge because there are multiple things that you have to study and obviously without any competition and challenge you will not get the good job right this is the very good job you are going to get the salary up to level 10 and you are going to get the post like a state officer so for these uh, type of uh, job you have to uh, you know work hard and prepare well and you have to put a lot of effort also 
so materials and components this subject you have to prepare extra and if you are suppose gate aspirants then don't go for this exam because uh, the gate examination and this particular examination are a bit different and yes uh, you maybe have the questions for the final year eligible or not so you can go and check the uh, essential qualification because we need a degree so if you need a degree then uh, if that means uh, you are not eligible or or the students who are going to get the uh, final year degree uh, up to the month of uh, august and july then they can appear but now suppose you enter in the fourth year right now then you are not eligible but you are about to finish because it is the month of july so you have given your eighth semester exam and you are waiting for your result then you are eligible so material and component you have to uh, study extra and uh, this you study the gates label business and system also you study network theory you study electromagnetic theory you study measurement this is another subject that you have to prepare and uh, if you are suppose looking for the uh, writing the gate paper in the two different branches like a uh, instrumentation and ec then this subject you might be preparing so this is not going to uh, be a harder for you and uh, now coming to the analog electronics digital electronics control system communication these all you study for the gate or ec then coming to this microwave engineering part, this is a, going to be a bit challenging and in the communication also, this microwave frequency and satellite part is going to be a bit challenging for you. Okay, so covering this microwave engineering, then computer engineering, these are the extra things that you have to prepare for this particular exam. Similarly, for electrical engineering, circuit, circuit theory, signal cell system, you study, EM theory, you study, analog electronics, digital, energy conversion, maybe uh, this uh, transformer principles, so this also you study, power electronics, you study. Analog communication that you have to prepare. If you are preparing for ESC, then obviously you might have studied for this uh, particular subject also. So there will be no problem if you are preparing for ESC. And if you are not preparing for ESC and only preparing for gate, then again this is the extra subject that you have to prepare. Microprocessor, microcomputer, measurement and instrumentation you will study, right? And uh, power system protection, digital communication. So here also there will be a bit challenge for you uh, to prepare this communication and digital communication part rest of the things are almost same as the uh, gate syllabus this may be power protection you study or not i am not sure but yes uh, as i can see the topics i think you study these topics as well in the gate preparation okay so these all are the syllabus of your computer science physics and other branches okay so just go through this pdf once what is uh, your requirement and uh, if suppose you find any difficulty and if you don't understand anything in this pdf then you can comment in the comment section i will reply personally for your queries okay thank you and this is a very good opportunity so don't miss if you are not prepared for uh, any other exams then you can just focus on this exam and if you want to do uh, parallel in parallel then it is going to be a bit difficult because this syllabus is slightly different side but you have to prepare for this uh, particular job then you have to take uh, lots of things together and for that you have to mentally prepare you have to manage your time in a well organized way so that you can balance all of your preparation and along with this particular exams thank you